Bonjour les jeunes, j'espère que vous allez bien. Comment allez-vous Très bien, j'espère que oui. Um, Aujourd'hui, nous allons faire le, la classe de français numéro 7 et nous allons parler de l'histoire de France de nouveau. We are going to talk about the history of France. Um, we're going to continue. And we are going to read about the conquest of, Go of, um, of Gaul from um, the Romans. So go ahead and grab your page. Prenez votre page. Et je voudrais que vous lisiez vos questions. So we ha you have this and you have this. Je veux que vous lisiez vos questions et que vous... Um, vous y réfléchissiez pendant que je lis. So you can think about them while I'm reading. OK? Um, while I'm reading, I want you to follow with your fingers. Um, just because that way you won't get so lost. Um, so I want you to start right here where it says number two. So I'm, this is where we're going to start talk, uh, reading. And I want you to read out loud with me. I want you to look at the word, listen to me, and say the word. Even if you say them wrong, it's okay. Um, you will hear them said the right way. And so it will help you with your pronunciation. It's very, very important. I cannot stress it enough. It's so important that you guys really try to read at the same time that I am reading. It's okay. Don't worry about If you don't say it exactly like I say it, it's okay. That's normal. But as you do this and as we keep practicing doing this, you're going to start saying your words better and better and better. And that will help you so much for when you're talking in French. So let's go ahead and start. So put your finger on la. And this is the title. La conquête de la Gaule par les Romains. Les Gaulois vont attaquer les Romains. So this is the conquest of Gaul, Gaul by the Romans. The Gaulois are about to attack the Romans. Les Gaulois allaient souvent faire la guerre dans les autres pays. The Gaulois often went to war against other countries. Ils allèrent ainsi en Italie. They went to Italy. Ils voulurent prendre la ville de Rome. They wanted to take and conquer the city of Rome. Les Romains, habitants de Rome, montèrent sur une colline située dans leur ville et appelée Capitole. The Romans, inhabitants of Rome, went on a, a hill situated um, in their city and called Capitol. Le haut de cette colline était entouré d'un mur. The top of this hill was surrounded by a wall. Une nuit, qu'il faisait très noir, one night when it was really dark, des Gaulois s'approchèrent du mur tout doucement. Some Gaulois went close to the wall very, very uh, slowly, very carefully. Mais il y avait des oies sur le Capitole. But there were geese on the capital. Elles entendirent du bruit, they heard noise, et elles battirent des ailes en poussant leur vilain cri. And they started moving their wings real fast um, while, while um, lay, uh, how do you say, letting out screams. You know how geese do that. Les Romains qui dormaient s'éveillèrent. The Romans who were asleep woke up. Et ils empêchèrent les Gaulois de monter sur le mur. And they stopped the Gaulois from climbing on the wall. Les Romains donnèrent de l'or aux Gaulois pour les décider à s'en aller. Et les Gaulois s'en allèrent. The Romans gave gold to the Gaulois to um, make them go away. And the Gaulois left. So they were bought out, weren't they? Les Romains en Gaule. I would like for you to tell me if, I, if you feel that I'm reading a little too fast. Maybe I need to slow down. 
Les Romains devinrent un peuple très puissant. The Romans became a very strong people. Ils conquirent l'Italie, l'Espagne, la Grèce, une partie de l'Asie et le nord de l'Afrique. They con conquered Italy, Spain, Greece, a part, um, certain part of Asia, Asia, and the north of Africa. So you can see right here, right here, you can see on your map where it is black is France today. And where it is black and with white line is how big was, was Gaul in those days. Okay, so it encompassed Switzerland, it encompassed Germany, Belgium, um, even parts, part of Holland. Okay. La partie noire, okay. On voit donc, okay, so here, right under there, right here. La partie noire représente la France d'aujourd'hui. So the black represents France today. La partie noire rayée de traits blancs. Uh, the black part with the white uh, line. Uh, les pays qui outre la France faisaient partie de la Gaule. The countries beside France who were part of Gaul. On voit donc que la Gaule était beaucoup plus grande que notre France. So we can see that Gaul was way bigger than our friends. All right, right here, right below. Ils voulurent conquérir la Gaule. They wanted to conquer Gaul. Un grand général qui s'appelait Jules César les commandait. A big general who was called Julius Caesar was the commander in chief. Les Romains étaient aussi braves que les Gaulois. The Romans were just as brave and courageous as the Gaulois. Et ils marchaient mieux en rang, faisaient mieux l'exercice et obéissaient mieux à leur chef. But they also walked better in, in order, in a better order. They exercised better and they listened and obeyed their chief better. C'est pour cela qu'ils furent vainqueurs. And that is why they became the winners. That, that is why they won. Vercingétorix. Vercingétorix. So that's his name. And that is actually uh, the person that we are looking at right here on all these uh, pictures right here. Okay. Um, and this is the person, this is for your timeline. And we are going to write his name and the dates. And we're going to write a couple little things about him right above. Okay. This is him on a coin, on a, uh, a gold, a coin from gold from those days. All right. La Gaule était déjà presque conquise. So right beside Vercingétorix, right here. Right here. La Gaule était déjà presque conquise. Gaul was, Gaul was almost already conquered. Quand un jeune chef appelé Vercingétorix réunit une grande armée pour chasser les Romains. When a young chief named Vercingétorix uh, united a big army to chase away the Romans. Il était brave et il parlait bien. He was brave and courageous and he spoke very well. Il fit comprendre aux Gaulois que c'était honteux de laisser prendre son pays par des étrangers. He, he explained to the Gaulois that it was shameful to let your country be taken by strangers. Il remporta quelques victoires. He won some victories. Mais César était un meilleur général que lui. But Caesar was a better general than he was. Vercingétorix fut obligé de s'enfermer dans une ville appelée Alésia. Vercingétorix was supposed to, uh, was obligated to um, basically lock himself up in a city called Alésia. Um, I guess all the... the 
I so what happened is that all the Romans had come so close and had surrounded him so much that he was stuck in a city. So he had to lock the city up in Alesia and in lock the city up and stay put there. César fit creuser de grands fossés autour de la ville pour empêcher Vercingétorix et ses soldats d'en sortir. So Caesar um, built big trenches around the city to keep Vercingétorix and his soldiers to be able to come out of the city. So he was very smart, right? Bientôt les Gaulois n'eurent plus de quoi manger. Soon, the Gaulois that were stuck in the city did not have anything else to eat, so they had to surrender. They didn't have any other way. Vercingétorix ne voulut pas les laisser mourir de faim. Vercingétorix did not want to let them die of hunger. Il monta sur son cheval. He went on, up on his horse. Il alla trouver César. He went to see Caesar. Et il jeta devant lui ses armes pour montrer qu'il ne se défendrait plus. And he threw his weapons in front of Caesar to show him that he will not defend himself any longer. César l'emmena à Rome. Caesar took him to Rome. Vercingétorix resta six ans dans une prison. He stayed six years in a prison. Au bout de ces six ans, César eut la cruauté de le faire mourir. After these six years, Caesar was so cruel that he decided to... Put an end to his life. Ainsi, to his life, to Vercingétorix's life. So he killed him. Ainsi, Vercingétorix est mort pour avoir défendu son pays contre l'ennemi. So Vercingétorix died having defended his country against the enemy. Il a été vaincu. He was, he was, um, he was conquered. Mais il a combattu tant qu'il a pu. But he fought till the end. Dans les guerres, on n'est jamais sûr d'être vainqueur. In wars, we are never um, assured that we will be the winners. Mais on peut sauver l'honneur en faisant son devoir de bon soldat. But we can save our honor by doing what we're supposed to do as a soldier. Tous les enfants de la France doivent se souvenir de Vercingétorix et l'aimer. All the children of France must remember Vercingétorix and love him. So, basically, this man Vercingétorix, um, if we look from a providential view, um, this man was a pagan, correct? So, he... Um, you know, he did not believe in God. Um, he had, according to the pagan rituals that they were doing, they were doing sacrifices, they were doing all kinds, but he still had a good idea and he still had something that in his heart that was right when he thought this is so dishonorable, um, to let an enemy come and take your land away from you, right? It's still not, it's still not right. So he rallied everybody and fought for, for Gaul. Uh, now from a providential view, would you say that God was doing something in Europe at that time? And what do you think God was doing at that time? Now, remember the Romans, okay? The Romans, uh, and remember what the Romans did in Europe at that time. And we're going to go into more details next time, but the, at that time, the Romans made it possible to develop the country. The country was difficult to navigate. There was no roads. There was none of, there was no way of, good way of transportation. So the, obviously the Gaulois were not really good at doing any of that. They didn't have the knowledge. They didn't, they didn't study. They didn't go to school. They didn't know math. 
They didn't understand how things worked like that. And so they were not able to do this. But see, God had a plan for from the beginning that the gospel had to be spread out into the, into the rest of the world. And so with the Romans coming and conquering um, the Gaulois, even though even though it's not even though it's not um even though it's honorable for Vercingetorix to think that he wants to protect his country at the same time being conquered was not a bad thing in itself it actually was a good thing so sometimes we think oh well you know we shouldn't be conquered but actually it's a good thing that France that gold was conquered because of that the Romans were able to start building roads the Romans were able to start educating the people the people started you know understanding more and more and being able to progress and to bring progress and good changes and so you know from a providence from a providential view which means from God's perspective See, God knew what was happening and he allowed for Julius Caesar to be able to take over um, Vercingetorix. So even though it was honorable, and we should recognize that, that it is honorable to want to fight for your country uh, and to want to preserve and to want to keep it from being attacked by other people. Um, at the same time, we have to trust in God's providence. At the same time, we have to trust that, of course, Valsange Joyce was not a Christian, so he didn't even think about any of that. But us, from our perspective, we can look back in history and we can think about, about it for today, for our nation, for what is happening around us. You know, things that might look bad might not be that all that bad in the, in the grand scheme of things. And so we have to look at history from that perspective. It's very, very important. Um, most people don't. So it is up to us Christians to, to look at it from that perspective and to learn from stories like this. Okay? So make sure that you answer all your questions right here. Okay? And then over here, I want you to... Um, to research the dates for Vercingetorix, I want you to write his name real nicely up there. And then I want you to, to uh, write down the dates that we have of his birth and death. And then over here, I want you to write me three sentences. Um, and you can just Google it. You can Google it on Wikipedia or it's okay. And they, they talk about you know, a few facts about this man. And I would like for you to put it, to put three facts about him right here on those three lines. Okay, things that you want to remember about him, who he was, what kind of a person he was, etc. So this is your work for this week. Answer your questions, Google Vercingetorix, find out his dates, dates of birth and dates of death. Um, uh, around what time this was happening and then um, and then three facts about him and make sure you use your nice penmanship this page will be in your uh, timeline binder so this is what you have to do for this week good job for following me I hope that you are reading with me let me know if I read a little too fast I'm going to try to um, to read a little bit slower next time. Um, I try not to make this video too, too long, but I really would like for you to be able to follow with me and say the words. Okay. All right. Au revoir les enfants.